Welcome to the Sports Desk at the IPTV studio and to another episode of Teen Spotlight, hashtag IPTV Sports. I'm Paul Yeager. Softball is the only girls sport where an athlete can play varsity for five years. Johnston senior Brooke Wilmus is four for four playing in the state championship game, winning the title twice. Heading into her final season, Brooke has hopes of making a fifth tournament appearance in Fort Dodge. Leading off, shortstop, number 17, Brooke Wilmus. I play shortstop and I'm the leadoff batter. My role on the team is to get on any way I can so everybody else can score me, hit me around. My main role is just to be that leader for everybody this year and then also help my team out, teammates out whenever I can. I have been around the softball field my whole life and I've always followed my sisters around to all their tournaments. Just from the beginning, I've always loved it. I started coaching actually when I was pregnant with Abby, our oldest. Andrea was coaching at Valley High School for a long time. Abby and Bailey sat on the tractor and watched mom play. You know, they picked up stuff. Well, Brooke did that same thing. She has very high expectations for herself. We joke that sometimes they're not attainable because they're a little bit too high, but she has proven us wrong the last four years. We've made it to the state championship four years in a row. We've won two, and then we've got runner-up two years. Winning the state championship, it's by far the best feeling I've ever had in the world. Winning it my freshman year, it was a new experience for me. I've never done that. Top of the lineup, Brooke Wilmus. Huge spot lifted down the line and right, and that's gonna be foul. She can flat out hit. <laughs> wow, I'm really young. <laughs> Flexing a little muscle here in this ball game. She's drilled a couple of them foul, and so. We knew that she was a very good pitcher. We faced her before. Um, she works every single part of the plate. Just be patient up there. Get my pitch and hit it as hard as I can. The pitch lifted high in the air to right. Back at the wall. That's a home run, a grand slam for Brooke Wilmus. I knew it was out. I felt it right as I hit it. Still gives me goosebumps. I remember rounding third, giving my coach a high five. That was the coolest moment of my life. A rep contacted me from Sports Illustrated and that is one of the coolest things that I have ever experienced. I actually hit it to my bus driver. Hit it right to her. Two, two, two. Next person up, let's go, let's go, let's go. Next person up. She came in with a high skill set. You know, she made an impact right off the bat, I and mean, she came in absolutely fearless. A lot of kids, they get that early success like she had, it's pretty easy to plateau, but with her, it's always about what can I do to get better? What can I do to get better? I guess the easiest thing to say is, she's a ball player. That's gone. I've really gained a lot of confidence over the years just because his confidence in me. That's a good at bat, Brooke. That's a good at bat. Softball is a really mental sport. My batting average has gone up because I've been more relaxed and been more confident. There's that level of self-confidence because she knows that she's prepared. Come on, Brooke, let's go, Seth, let's go down. She's been in a lot of big games. Wilmus on the season is a 6'10 hitter. Unheard of. One of the best hitters in the state, and Wilmus is asked to save the game. Two to one, Pleasant Valley. Bottom of the seventh, two outs, and I'm up to bat with the bases loaded. I think this is what every kid dreams about, bases loaded. I never actually thought I'd get an opportunity to do it in a game, let alone the state championship game. The pitch right. catches the zone, and it's full. Bases loaded. There hasn't been a situation where it seemed too big for Brooke. She's up again with bases loaded, two outs, and we're thinking to ourselves, is this the time when she's not going to yep. come through? Get the speech ready. I mean, <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. This is the pitch. The Dragons down to their last strike. It's high, ball four. The tying run scores, we're tied at two. Wilmus draws the walk. Scoring. That pitch was a really good pitch. 
It went up. Wilma's thought about it. There's so much stress and then so much success afterwards that it was probably the greatest and bad of my life. Now that I walked, I knew Brooke was going to get a base hit. That's a big thing of this sport is momentum. She had a really good high school team. On the other hand of that, I know that Brooke has pushed her teammates, but that's kind of her nature when she's out on in between the lines, I guess. Good job, great job. Yep. You see her grow as a leader as well. Good, Paige. That's another great piece of her development. She also played basketball and had a totally different role. Six to play also in as Brooke Wilmus, 5'6 junior. So she has seen both sides. Learning all those different roles and being supportive of other people, that's not only going to help you on the field, but it's going to help you off the field as well. I've been in the program for four years and I've had so many great leaders in front of me, so I'm just trying to be what they were. Hey, you guys got to get louder in here. I would love to come back here and coach. That would be an ultimate goal, but I've, I would also like to coach in college if that was an option too. I'm going to the University of Missouri. They saw me as a freshman and they pursued me right away and I really like that. The University of Missouri is getting a great player. She has a great sense of humor. She's a very positive young lady, but you can't uh, confuse that with her level of competitiveness because she's a very, very strong competitor. You know, Brooke has always been kind of her own person. She doesn't want to be an average player. That's why we have family practices. Um, so family practice is pretty much just when anybody feels like they're not playing as well or practicing as well as they could. We just go out to the practice. We take our whole family. Usually it's when people are struggling, but I like to go and just make fun of myself, make fun of them. It really helps to have fun. I mean, softball's fun. Probably a family tradition that we do a lot more than a lot of other families do. Personally, I just look up to them and take as much advice as I can because they've been through it before and I'm just getting started. One, two, three, Dragons! She's really looking for a fifth time to the state tournament and another state championship. But I, I think we're ready to see what she can do at that next level. We've been to the state championship four years in a row and we can't dwell on that. The past is the past and we need to take this season one step at a time. Good luck to Brooke and her career at Mizzou. A reminder that IPTV Sports brings you live championship action in softball, volleyball, basketball, and more. Tune in to cheer on your favorite Iowa girl. I'm Paul Yeager. Thanks for joining me.